This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Johnson versus Myers. You all have been together for four years. Ms. Myers, you're currently six months pregnant. And where we go after today's proceeding depends on the answers to two questions. Is she cheating? And is the unborn baby Mr. Johnson's? Yes, sir. Mr. Johnson, you've initiated this lawsuit today. Tell us why. I caught her cheating with one of my good friends, uh, probably around New Year's of this year. And then I went to, well, we got in a big argument about money, situation with money, how to pay the bills and stuff. So my parent had called me and told me, I have a job for you. If you come over here for a week, I'll give you $1,000 to work for me. Well, I went and done that. And well, when I came back after that week was over, her and my friend were like, buddy, buddy, couldn't break them apart. Everything that we had to go do, let's go get him and he can ride with us. And this was about six months ago. Yes. And she is six months pregnant. Yes. <laughs> and you have some concerns. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Okay. So, how are you feeling with your boyfriend questioning the paternity of your child? Um, he has the right to because I did cheat on him, okay? And it was about six months ago, and I admitted it to him fondly. Um, it will hurt if it's somebody else's, but I hope and pray that it's his because I love my family and he is my family and that's who I want to be with. And so I'm here today to prove to him that I'm not cheating anymore. I don't want to cheat. I have no interest in cheating at all anymore, but I do want him to know whether he's a father or not because he has that right to know. You're taking full responsibility yes, for what's going on yes, here. Your Honor. That's refreshing. Yeah. You don't yes, see that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I know what I did was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Your Honor. I, I gotta ask you this, though. How did you end up cheating with your significant other's friend? Okay, well, we had a lot going on, fighting and stuff, and he had left for a week. We had broke up for a week. Okay. And so that week, I was mad at him. And so that's when I first did it. It happened probably about four times in total, though. Four times? In that, in that time frame, yes, of me, but the same guy. You were really mad, weren't you? I, I was mad. <laughs> Thank yes, you. sir. I was mad. And I thought he didn't want me no more. And I was hurt and sad, and I wanted love again. And that's who showed me attention. I never said we were over. When I went, when I he left for that week, we I never said we were over. You uh, were just going to go make this money. I was going money. to work to get money to pay our bills. And so from yeah, your standpoint, I you weren't broken up. I packed a bag up. to leave, but I did not pack my whole house up. I packed up some clothes for a week. Like you going on a trip. Yes. So, Mr. Johnson, how did you find out that she was cheating with your friend? Uh, one of my friends told me, how could you kiss a girl who had just gave your friend oral sex? And <laughs> I had... I'd snapped in my head at that point, so I told him, leave me alone for a minute, I'll figure everything out. Well, a few weeks later, I let it go on for a few weeks, you couldn't break them apart. They were like, cemented it together. Meaning Miss Myers and your friend. Yes. Well, I wake up one morning, she tells, well, we didn't have water at that time, so she was going up to his house to wash some clothes. Well, when I get up there, she's in the shower. I walk in and I ask her, I said, so what's going on here? Well, she broke down, and she told me. So let me ask you this couple questions. Yes, Your Honor. What did you say to your friend once she confessed? I didn't say nothing. I swung at him. You just start swinging. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, and so were you also sleeping with Miss Myers during the same time period? Yes. Well, not that week. I was working. Well, well, the week yeah. you were... But the week before, yes. the week after, you had slept with yes. her, too. We were having sexual intercourse quite often. Okay. And you're saying the only week that you had sex with him was the week he was gone? But four times in that week, man. Four, you yeah, four times, two in times in that week. week. Is that right, Ms. Myers? Uh, no, that's not right. It was not just that week. We, the first time that we slept together was that week. It happened a few other times after that week. You gotcha. Know, you, got, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, Ms. Myers, how long after you slept with a friend did you find out you were pregnant? Um, probably about a month. I found out I was pregnant and I was disappointed. And at that point, when you discovered you were expecting, it was, I don't know if it's the friend or Mr. Johnson's. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. Wow. And did, what happened when you told Mr. Johnson, I'm expecting? 
I was crying, I was screaming, and he was like, where are you at, where are you at, trying to find me in the house, because I, I was screaming, sick. upset, crying, because I was angry. I was very, very, very upset that I was pregnant. You know, not because I don't love my child, unborn child, but because of who it could be, the father. So you were like, I have made potentially a ginormous mistake. mistake. Yes, ma'am. Woo! Okay, so you have a concern that she is still cheating, is that correct? Yes, I've got money coming out of my bank account every two weeks. I get paid every two weeks. So you think she's giving money to this man yes. each two it, times it, a month? Yes, two times a month. At least $80 a month. I'm having money come up missing. I pay the bills. I work every almost every day of the week. And $80 is not... Chump change. No, that's not a money it's that It's because can go. he doesn't know how to keep track of his money, neither, okay? I have to keep track of it for us. I'm just thinking, usually it's the potential father that's sending money to the pregnant woman. Right? This time it's the pregnant woman sending money <laughs> to I'm the potential not. father. But I'm not. Yes. I'm not sending money to him at all. I, we use the money for a family member or a gas cigarettes, anything that we need, personal stuff. But you're saying it's a regular occurrence and it's the same amount. Yeah. It's probably... And she's also disappearing for hours at a time. Like, she... I can get her to text me back, but she won't answer the phone. She disappears? Yes. Okay, so, tell me can, about that. I can be at work, and usually when I go on break, I call her. I get a 30-minute lunch break. So I usually call her. Well, sometimes it's, hey, I can't talk on the phone. And this is something that's kind of recently happened in the last... Last few months going on. Okay. Well, you used to be able to get a hold of her whenever you I called. I could call her anytime. I could be working tw the graveyard shift, and she'd pick up at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. And she'd talk to me for hours. Even though I wasn't supposed to be on the phone at work, she'd still talk to me. But now... But now I can call her, and she'd talk for 15 minutes and be like, oh, I got to go. But I still got 15 minutes on my lunch break. But you can text me. And you're thinking it's because she's with somebody else. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't like talking on the phone. And also, I sleep a lot right now with the baby being pregnant and stuff. I have a lot going on and stuff, and I ain't got time to talk on the phone to him. He'll see me when he gets home, or he can text me. But you understand he his concern, I right? I mean, all of a sudden... Yes, yes, Your When you stop talking to him on the phone, it's like, I don't want to yes. talk to you. Just I'll talk to you when you get home. I don't have yes, time for you. I mean, yeah. that's a classic sign that there's something else going on. <laughs> I yeah. know. It, it is, but it's not. There's not. There's not nothing else going on. So, is there anything else that you may have seen that makes you believe she's cheating? Some text messages on her phone and, like, phone calls that... I've tried to call this number back, but it all... It, you nobody can't get ever through. It up. We share a so phone now, found? though. Huh? What have you found? What are the text messages? Uh, one was, hey, baby, are you there? Are you there? Are you there? Hey, it's Tina. Are you there? And that's what I call her, is Tina. Her name's Martina, but I call her Tina, mm -hmm. for short. But it's, and that was a number that you didn't recognize. But it's a number from my hometown, the area code from my hometown. So it's somebody in your hometown that yes. she's like, hey, are you there? It's me. Yes. Okay. I don't I... know the message she's talking about, and I never send a message to another man off my own phone, though. Just the same. Well, Mr. Johnson, if you find out that baby's not yours, then what? I want to work things out. I just need to know if she, if she is cheating. We need to talk about things. If the baby's not mine, then she can take responsibility of the baby. I just don't want to... 15 years down the road, if we break up, I won't, don't want to be trapped in court for child support over this baby if it's not mine. Okay, what if you find out she's still cheating? Then we're gonna have some problems. So you're done. <laughs> okay. You understand what's at risk? Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. How, what are your thoughts about the worst outcome? Well, what, I know I'm not cheating. So, I have no worries there, but the baby, who's the father, I do have worries there. But I'm upset about it, you know, because I know what I did was wrong. And I know how he's going to feel if he's not the father. I pray to God that he is the father, but if he's not, I know how he's going to feel, and that's just going to break me down. Well, to help sort all this out, this court has done a full and complete investigation. At this time, the court will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please escort the Cisco in. <laughs> Ms. Cisco, how are you today? I am doing great, Your Honor. How are you? Doing good. It's good to see you. Good to see you, too. Tell us, please, what you did to investigate this case. 
I had the accused write a witness statement, which I analyzed for any indicators of truthfulness and deception. And I studied the case file, I put together an interrogation plan, and then I interrogated Ms. Myers to see if she in fact was cheating on Mr. Johnson. So you conducted a full interrogation. Uh, what were your initial findings? In the beginning, Ms. Myers was very open and very talkative to me. She didn't hold back any detail about what happened between her and Mr. Johnson's friend. She told me that she slept with his friend approximately five times, and then she told me that this information was humiliating. Mr. Johnson believes Ms. Myers is secretly still involved with the other man and that she's giving him money. Does he have any reason to be concerned about that issue? I asked Ms. Myers, where's the money going? So I asked her, are you sending it to Mr. Johnson's friend or any other man? And she said definitively, no. She was talking to me with open body language, but her answers were congruent verbally and non-verbally. So I didn't see any signs of deception as she was telling me this. All right. <laughs> so Mr. Johnson has opened this case because he wants to know if the child Ms. Myers is carrying is his. How does Ms. Myers feel about this question of her child's unknown paternity. She told me she's scared. She's scared to find out. She hopes that it's Mr. Johnson because she loves him. And I believe that she is truly happy with Mr. Johnson. But she's concerned about the results of the paternity test. So, in conclusion, what is your belief about whether or not Ms. Myers is still cheating? In my conclusion, I saw no signs of deception. I do not believe she's cheating on Mr. Johnson, and I believe she's being faithful. I feel better. Okay. You, you feel better? <laughs> yeah, I feel better. You feel Your better? Honor. Yeah. We've answered the question about whether she's cheating, but we still have hanging out there the question of the paternity of this baby. Yes. Ms. Myers, I can see it in your face. Because your future is riding on okay. these so results. I mean, this is really paining you inside. I can see it that. It is, because I don't know, and I don't want it to be somebody else's other than him. I don't. You want it to be your family. You don't yes. want this, this third thing out here. <laughs> You don't want to have to question his loyalty and love of this no. child. Yes. You want your family to have the strength of everybody being, you know, blood family. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Johnson, you're gripping that podium. <laughs> you're taking deep <laughs> breaths. I see you trying to figure out, okay, trying to figure out if you're ready to receive these results. Yeah, I need to know. Like, everybody that knows about her being pregnant and knows that she had cheated on me, is it yours, bro? Is it yours? Is it yours? And all I can say is, yeah, I hope. Uh, I really do hope. I pray that it's my child. Miss Myers, is there anything that you want to say to Mr. Johnson before we get these results? I hope it's yours. I really, really do. I think we are ready for the results. Ron, do you have those? Yes, Sean. This is huge. Ms. Myers, are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. All right. I'm okay. okay. To determine if Mr. Johnson is the father of Ms. Myers' unborn child, a non-invasive prenatal test was performed. A blood sample was drawn from Ms. Myers, and fetal DNA was isolated from that sample. DNA Diagnostics has prepared the results and the results are as follows. And I'm sorry, but either You're way. Fine. You're fine. All right. Well, Mr. Johnson, you are the father. <laughs> So we found out <laughs> that she is not still cheating and you are the father. How I does that make you feel, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> My legs are <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. 
Miss Myers, how are you feeling in this moment? Thank God. I feel great. I feel a lot better. I'm so happy. That is good to hear. I'm glad the results came out the way you hope they will come out, that she's not still cheating, that the baby is yours, and that you all can now move forward to continue with your family. I mean, this is, this is great. This is good. <laughs> and I sincerely believe that Miss Myers is in it to win it. I think she has figured it out. I don't think she ever wants to find herself in this, <laughs> no. having this conversation no. again. <laughs> Your Honor, I know. And Mr. Johnson, I want to take my hat off, if I had one, for you staying in the game, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. We have counseling available for you all. You all are going to need it just to just get over this huge mountain, how you deal with the mountain you just got over. And you can do it. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. As we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy, healthy relationship. Court is adjourned. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you.